Oh. Okay, looks like, looks like I should have spanned the chaos. <laughs> chaos would have got a sweet 260 advantage, ruined them. But instead, they've got stronger, faster snotlings. <laughs> twice, their snotlings are twice as fast and twice as strong as mine. So, shit. Yeah, Bloodstone Firm is obviously a great combination for big guys, though I would want the claw at all costs with a, you know, claw and a normal. Another concede win. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, unless I get lucky as fuck, yeah. I mean, there's always, there's always the chance to get lucky as fuck. Let's see what he's got. Got 12 guys. He's got two Tackle Mighty Blow because of course he does. Why would you take guard? Fucking bastard. 20 0 3. <laughs> oh well. Looks like I'm feeding Ducky's rival a win. Uh, do you know what it's too? It's t I don't think I can actually spin with the ogres on stream. It's too. It's too dangerous for them, isn't it? Not seeing he sniped, but if I was going to snipe anybody, it would be somebody spinning ogres. <laughs> so yeah, this is just impossible. Impossible match. Now nah, I won't concede. I won't concede myself, Sparho. It's not like Ogre's care, is it? <laughs> he doesn't have he doesn't have claw either, so it's not like he's gonna murder even if he was gonna murder all the ogres I wouldn't give a fuck really. Yeah, ogres shouldn't be playing in the first place, yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks Harry Koo, but um <laughs> still ogres are fucking awful. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Doctor Man Bosco, yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, all because the trash should be playing in the first place, yeah, that's true. Hmm, don't know if they've got ogres though. I feel very exposed when I'm spinning them. You know, spin 1960 chaos and you don't, you don't give a fuck to you. <laughs> but spin ogres and you're like, oh no, please, please nobody be watching. Why did I say that so with all the uh, all the ogre? I guess because if they blitz a snotling, they would they'd be in the tackle zone of an ogre. Mm. I guess that was my thinking. Then. I quite like this idea of being closer. Fair enough, fair enough, fella. I'll be a fair enough. Yeah, Ogres can murder you. Yeah, that's true. And at least he's only got Force Kings and, like, Saurus can't dodge anyway, so the lack of... Much like Kemri, the lack of Tackle Zones isn't so bad. Motherfuckers. And then the Skinks would ignore them anyway, so... I guess it's a good game for Snotling Tackle Zones. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. Though, they are going to get wrecked by Skinks just being stronger than them. Ogre Ball. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool, yeah. 
Yeah, it's not good, is it? Probably going to get raped by... I mean, he's going to get fucking bolted, though, isn't he? That, <laughs> that skink. At least, at least, at least there's that. That skink is 100% getting bolted. Whether he's carrying it or not. Also, Tony plays pool, he might fucking say hello to him. And fuck him up. So I guess actually kicking isn't so bad because it gives us more chance to get rid of that skink before the offensive drive. But I mean, he's fucking 20, 120 lost three, he knows. He knows how to play, doesn't he? He's maybe even top up, top lizards with 120 lost three. Could be top lizards, couldn't he? Can one dice with block, or you can two dice with his crocs. Is he gonna GFI the blitz with a saurus? Looks like it. I like that he's having to think of it. Oh, I should have put block in the middle, shouldn't I? I didn't put block in the middle. Um, essentially, yes. <laughs> yes, hello, fire. Hope that you don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Hope, like, you know, obviously you've got more strength than most people, so, you know, if you're playing somebody with strength, get the guard in, uh, try and guard lock them, try to strength lock other people, hope hope to make some cars with your six mighty blow guys, but it's, you know, and try to limit the impact of, of the boneheads, but, um, it's not good. <laughs> Your main tactic is is wait for the game to be over so you can use a real team. <laughs> that's, their, that's their primary tactic. <laughs> Obviously, try to control their opponents that have the you know the opposing players that have tackle and mighty blow. Whoa, I love the life games. He's not going to GFI then. He put him. He split him out wide, but he didn't. He didn't have the balls to uh, GFI to hit a snot, which is fair enough. He's gifted us as a skink there, though, hasn't he? Gifted us a skink for Tony to eat. God, fireball here would be, could be devastating, but I think I've got to bolt him. Could blitz him and then go for the pickup on a bolt. I could go for the pickup anyway. Nah, just don't have a movement. Do I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? <laughs> It'd be funny though. <laughs> it would be funny. I try to stand these guys up. Uh, base, base, base here. Oh, I'm three dice here. I wasn't going for an assist or anything, it was just to. Uh,
Just to get out of the way, wasn't it? So he could blitz. Maybe I should have swum the ball. Maybe I should have fireballed and swum the ball. Because they cost TV, Carl Ancelotti. And the best ogre team is a thousand TV ogre team. considering to go down to one way well. <laughs> but even then I've got these two diamond tackle which is wasting TV isn't it I don't know I think it's better for the snots to have tackle zones than have a reroll maybe I should have fireballed there but I just really want to fucking bolt this fucker that's the thing but a fireball there combined with a blitz in the room might have been devastating Well, TLC, yeah, it is. It's outrageous, isn't it? But I mean, it's. Uh, I want to get these. I want to get this grinding in. To get top chaos and top ogre locked down, um, so that then I can take it easier for the next week. So that I'm ready to hit it strong at the start of next season. Because what usually happens is, I fucking play loads in the last week, and then I don't want to play loads at the, in the first week, do I? So. Um, you just weren't here, Goliath, when when building, when building the team. So the people who demanded to get it, to get ogres got ogres. But you can be the next ogre when uh, when an ogre dies. Ooh. I mean, it sucks just getting him in to get two dice blocked, but then at least he's saving us not one, isn't he? He's bonehead. In fact, he's got two guards pretty annoying. I have to target the guards, I guess. The good thing is I should be able to two dice the ball kind of easily with the snotlings, shouldn't I? Not blitz not blocking with mighty blow, but instead blitzing with a non mighty blow. So there you go, the top the top lizard man player could learn a thing or two about <laughs> <laughs> Actually blocking with mighty blow. <laughs> no, I see why he did it. Obviously, to get the extra, the extra movement afterwards, isn't it? Indeed, Tony. Yeah, I have to use all of them to get two dice. <laughs> mm, I am going to use all of them to two dice this guy. Stand up, guys. Definitely no wizard this turn, I don't think. Could think about it. Bolt. Lock. Blitz. Get everyone through. It might not be that bad, actually. He could block him. 
Could blitz him. And then the snots could swarm through. It's not even that bad, is it? Pull them here. He can blitz. With block. He can block. And then... Now the recovery... Yeah, he could recover, but... I just can't protect it, can I? That's the thing. I guess the wizard isn't very good, really, unless an oak is going to go and recover. But no, no. Oh, there was the, there was the one on the boat. This guy's going to move first, isn't he? Good. I can't follow because I need to go in that way, I think. What? Just kill the skins. Simple. Oh, I don't want to put him in there first, so let's go for this one first. <laughs> oh my god. Two days on it. Saurus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. He, des he deserved to die then, didn't he, that Saurus? Just from shame. It wasn't, it wasn't the block, it was the shame. <laughs> Well, Patros, I haven't used... I think I've used these... I've got two break tackles, and I've used... Um, I've used hardly any... I've probably hardly used any... Any break tackle. Um, the guard is kind of good for guard locking the strong teams, you know. Um, but obviously it makes it a bigger loss when one bone heads. Um... No panning on Ogres, no, obviously obviously Tony plays poorly as the one who wants that with his block and tackle. Ready to ruin things with uh, with pile and arm. But yeah, I think three guards for the LOS is, is pretty nice actually. But I, I prefer stand firm. I just didn't get to take stand firm because all these guys all the guys that would have taken stand firm got block instead. <laughs> yes, he's not even dead. Greed it. I love how people greed. People greed every time to try and kill skin, try and kill snotlings. Brilliant. People just have to have to uh, greed it. Say simple and rarely ever do it. What was that in reference to, Sparhol? Oh, mellow gold. Yeah, good old OP lizards. <laughs> Get another two dice from Snob, but I guess it's better to blitz him with the old one. Than leave him stranded on an open. Get three dice, actually. Could put four run and get three dice. But then I don't want to leave him on, on a snot and do All these scrub ogres without, without blood.
<laughs> he's gonna he's just gonna go for a one dice then. That's interesting. After he's after he's greeted that hit. Oh deserved a skull there, I think. Deserved a skull after using the greed reroll and not having a reroll for that blow. Deserved a skull there as well. Just quietly. That was a pretty big push as well. Oh, well, I don't like the follow actually. I think it would have been a good push for him if he hadn't followed. But he did follow. Obviously just try to get these guys up first. One, two, three, and then four square hitting him. And it doesn't really make any difference, so yeah, I'll do him before moving the snots. It's annoying that he didn't stand up for the guard protection of this guy. Really want to base him, don't I? But it's just giving him a 2D from his crocs and not keeping him free. Block him, block him, do it. If I go stupid here, it's annoying, but I just got to go for it, I think. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking horrible turn that was with those two. Blitz does nothing. Stupid as well. And now he's got his tackler tied up. He can't hit his skins. He's got a reserve skink anyway, so killing one didn't really make any difference. Maybe I shouldn't have activated the old guard orc there, but I just really fucking wanted to uh, to hurt him. Black or black or. <laughs> <laughs> oh, busy, yeah. yeah, no, uh, stop only. No, you don't get the. Uh, you don't get the. Uh, Touchdown if you can't buy it. <laughs> I didn't even kill him! Yes! <laughs> oh, crazy Leo. No, no, I just thought, you know, I normally play worse in the first game, so I'd rather, even though I'm trying to qualify with Ogres, um, you know, obviously I'd rather qualify with Chaos, wouldn't I? You know, in a kind of winning the tournament, Ogres ain't going to win the tournament. Not even possible. Whereas Chaos could win. If they don't play orcs and take five cars in four cars in four turns, <laughs> as long as they don't more, roll more double skulls than my opponent gets cars in the first four turns, should be. Uh... Yeah, Shawnee won it. Carl Ancelotti. That's a really good halfling team. Though. It is actually a really good halfling team.
just quietly. These guys have to just try to stand up. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. Hmm. It's all gone tits up now, isn't it? He gives us loads of blocks and then just don't roll. Don't roll the dice. He could break tackle blitz here. It's a fucking horrible move. But it's the only way I keep the tackle under control. KO is pretty under control. Maybe I could have uh, bolted there. He's in range, he might just score, right? Mm. Three plus with a fucking tail, wasn't it? But I don't want the crocs to come in and smash somebody. But I really don't want the three dice with mighty blow either. Guess I have to let him. Maybe I could have bolted there. Definitely can bolt next turn, I think. Seems to, he's, he seems to have outrun his uh, his protection a bit. Yeah, it's good as halflings, isn't it? It's plus movement, plus agility halfling, so he's just really good at, you know, he's fast and he can, he's good at landing, so he's a pretty good one turn. Like, obviously movement 7, agility 5 would be better, but he's movement 6, agility 4, so he's pretty good. He's got a pretty good one turning fling. I think bolt next turn. I guess but I really want to make a 3 plus dodge. But yeah, obviously he was just going to do that to free up his tackler, wasn't he? So maybe I could have done the two 3 plus dodges and try to get him onto there. Should have might done there, maybe. Doesn't matter, he's dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't have given up that 3D from the crocs, should I? But he hasn't got block or tackle, so it's not as bad. Yeah. 
Interesting. You can't dodge with that skink. Well, I mean, you can, but it's a risky dodge, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking dive and tackle doing something. Oh, he only just got it. Fucking hell. I didn't even kill him. I think the bolt comes out here, because I can then I could break tackle away, blitz him, get these two guys over, block him, get this ogre in here. Plus, when else am I going to use it? Might kill him. Didn't kill him. Diamond tackle guy can just run run through and foul him. Should have done these smears first. No. Damn them up. The only question is whether to go for the go for the ball before picking up, and uh, go for the pickup before fouling, isn't it? I'm definitely going to go over here. And the only question is whether GFI and pick up before fouling or not. Having the ball in hand would be good. But failing the pickup just means he scores. Then if I failed the pickup, maybe I would have uh, I wouldn't have broken armor anyway. Yeah, he's got a blitz. He's got to blitz the diamond tackle one, and basically power him. Because dodging away from him isn't a good thing. But he, I guess he'd, he'd have to dodge with him. Blitz him. I, I don't want to remove the diamond tackle guy. Here's I don't even foul. If I fail the pickup, we go on one tackle zone, then it's easy for him. He can get there to cancel the tackle. The tackles. He'll move him to there, and he'll two dice him. 
And then Dodge out, pick it up, score. And I guess no foul. Ah! <laughs> I was going to do it. I wish there were two diamond tacklers now. You just do a jump up block. That could have been my foul. Though. That could have been my foul, KO in there. Just quietly. Might never get the chance to foul him again. But it was only plus one, wasn't it? Might have to do the <laughs> run away, get thrown play here. If he manages to not get it. Could run out to there and then throw him. Yeah, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have fouled. It's just too devastating, a fucking player, isn't he? I'm probably never gonna get to knock him over again. Stop the touchdown anyway. I should have fouled him, shouldn't I? Yeah, it wasn't hard. It really wasn't hard. I should have just fouled him. Had the chance to kill his best player. Which now means I've got to carry on an ogre or go for a fucking throw team and get some bullets. He's like a super war dancer, isn't he, against my team? Dauntless. He's got sure hands, block, and dauntless. Yeah, I should have killed all those kings. Yeah, yeah I should I should have killed all those kings. Should have made that foul. If that had been his guy KO um, for no send off, it would have been really good, wouldn't it? So maybe that's what I should have done. Because I just can't well. Can I keep out of range of him? I guess I can for one turn. Then throw him in the second turn. Three blockers on the LOS for safe blocks first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. So get the ball here, then next turn, hand off, throw, score. I think I want to show if he can have it. Not protected, isn't it? I should have probably just done that for Right. 
try to get some two dice blocks. Where can this fucker get to? Not square. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. Hand it to him. Throw him. Score. So there's, there's a chance next turn of the touchdown. How much how much he's worth? Nine thirteen nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, BZL. Is a chance, yeah. There is a chance. Should have fouled that skink though, shouldn't I? He's just too much of a fucking terror. Two bonehead's there were pretty costly, weren't they? Tough old game this, isn't it? Fucking Ogres versus Top Lizards. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know if they are top or not. I think they're definitely, they've got to be near the top, haven't they? 20 wins and 3 losses. It's pretty good. More than a feeling, yeah. That's, that's pretty bad, isn't it? That's pretty bad. You're making the fucking throw teammate pretty difficult, isn't he? I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's. He, he might be sniping. I shouldn't have said my plans, should I? I shouldn't have announced my plans in case he is. Sniping. Oh, I see the play here, though. So that's good.
this. This play isn't too hard. Okay, so the play is he dodges to there, he two dices him, he blitzes him, he break tackles out, throws him after he gets handed off. And then he's got one turn left and can't answer back and can't sack the ball with his motherfucker. So I think this isn't such a crazy odds. Um, it requires three boneheads though, which is asking a lot. Probably shouldn't have followed there, should I? Right. Don't fail us now, sure feet. Finally. Alright, so far so good. Hey! <laughs> Get dunked on, you dickhead. Could maybe hide in the corner and be be safe. No, I can't. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Ogre is fun, yeah, when it works. It, it, unfortunately, though, he does have a movement nine one turn. Um, so that sucks, doesn't it? Can't push him, so he's going to push him into there, maybe, and then push him out that way. And then maybe just have the down tackle there. Blitzes in here, and he could kind of push him along this way as well. I mean, the down tackle doesn't really matter, does he? Because if he pushes him out this way, he can just go that way. The longer I take, the longer he's got to think about it, so I'll just end. And, uh, Oh, Astro, it could be Astro Tor, yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Um, I do have my opponent muted, yeah, Whiskey Dick, because, because, here's the thing, right? It just, um, it just pisses me off sometimes when people are fucking dickheads in chat. I wouldn't say it tilts me, but, you know, for every, like, hey, dude, I love your YouTube videos and stuff, there's, a, there's fucking ten whiny little cunts so um i just keep it turned off because it, it's hard enough it's hard enough playing and street like playing and talking at the same time is already hard enough if i uh if i had a sidekick to do all my talking then i could be more uh i could be more involved with the chat but <laughs> very good tony but it's it's just too hard really to do to do all three things Thank you, Henry Judas. 
<laughs> I guess he'd be in insane chat if he was, because he knows me. I mean, the, the problem now is going to be the offensive drive for the Ogres, isn't it? Because he's probably just going to turn us over with his. Because I'm going to have to. Ta I'm going to have to carry with an ogre. Because it's and he's he's even got dauntless. So even if I carry with an ogre, he can just dauntless with that skink. Fuck's sake. But have to carry with an ogre so that he's not just completely annihilated by the skink. No, oh, well, he looks like he's not even going for the one turn. Oh wow! Should be ashamed of himself. Top, top lizards not even trying for a one turn. I think your things are qualified one one zero. I didn't send him a message saying bang on no. I mean that that cas doesn't really matter because obviously the important thing is the next drive. And got enough like, got enough snots for that. One turn against all the strength five does seem extremely different, but but he could have fucking tried, couldn't he? Oh yeah, gobble. Yeah, it's not actually a gobble, is it? Oh, Imagine if he hadn't powered him and he was just there and he could have been throw teammate. Now he's got to go back to throw teammate and get a really lucky scatter. But I guess there's a chance. You telling me there's a chance? Always getting abused on the LOS here. Nobbo. Yeah, I just no, I just say Gobbo, he's a fucking thing, isn't he? A fucking green little thing. I don't care if they're Yeah, it was hard, but it's just two pushes, exactly. You've got to try, even if it's a one dice into a fucking one dice, or even if it's an up, up into a one hill, I think you've got to tr go for it, rather than just give up. You know? Well, Stotty, I checked when I was spinning my ogres. <laughs> um, my Chaos don't mind, obviously, because they're 1960, and while they no doubt would get diced um, by... You know, 1850 or well, no, it is, I think it's undead about 1900 now. Although they probably would get diced by the undead, I'm obviously not scared of them. But uh, yeah, I was definitely, definitely the ogres are scared of everybody. Yeah, it is ogres anyway, but still, I think you've got to try, haven't you? All right, so I can go for the throw, and I guess I'll go for the splat, splat of snotling. That's uh, splat of snotling, splat of skin. Rather than go for the mighty bow guy. Good job, I would have double scores against him. I think I've got to get like three scatters in the right direction here. So close. Five, six, seven, eight. Can't make it three days. Imagine if I'd just set up two further forward and could have got could have got the touchdown. Maybe I should have fouled the skink actually, or maybe found the skink.
Ogres first. Oh, he, that's his that's his defense. Interesting. So he's letting he's letting this guy be pawned again. <laughs> I say that. Put him in there. Fits him, put two guys in there. So I've got to, got to try, actually I can't put two guys in there. I've got to try to carry with the ogre because the threat of cage dive is too strong, isn't it? Just putting him in there sucks. But what can I do? Hopefully make a removal would be pretty Epic. I, I honestly don't know, Jellio. Um, paying attention to, <laughs> to snotlings. I think they're goblins for fuck's sake. Scrub casts and jam toast are out. He caught it! What a fucking baller! <laughs> what an absolute baller. Maybe I should have given it to a break tackle dude. But Brandhill finally finally doing something with his life. <laughs> oh you bastard. I think activating him is too risky now. Would you like a cage? <laughs> yes, please. Don't even want to blitz now, do I? Need some screen it off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double G if I had to blitz with him. So actually, I think I don't even blitz. Well. That's not actually a screen there, is it? Because he's boneheaded. So yeah, I have to blitz. Have to make a blitz. Now it's really not a screen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, fuck it. He definitely can't do it. Shouldn't have blitzed, should I? Cost me a reroll. Channel, <laughs> what the fuck is that, Traparis? <laughs> It's one reroll plus a leader is what it actually is. Strong arm pass over. <laughs> Sorry, Jolio. 
Are you the one left out in the cold? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't. Uh, no, I had to though. No, 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 I had to do it. I had to do it because he was boneheaded, right? So there was no screen if I didn't. So I actually just literally had to. Well, I had to activate him. Maybe I didn't have to blitz, but I had to activate him. So yeah, no, I, I did do the right thing. I only thought I didn't have to because I didn't I didn't realise that guy had boneheaded. So no, I still had to I had to activate him, I think. Just disappointing I had to use one of my two rerolls on turn one. And because now this ogre's probably gonna do something crucial like a four plus dodge and probably fail it. But got a removal which was good, wasn't it? So I have any KO now. Does anyone know if this guy is actually the top lizards or not? Or is he just like second or maybe even third? I know Ducky was top for a while, but then he, he, he said he'd fallen off or someone, someone said he'd fallen off. He's got to be one of the top few, I, I would think. 20 wins, 3 losses. But then it is lizards, so maybe he isn't. <laughs> Let me just go for the three dice with blood. Lucky it was a three. Well, not lucky, but you know what I mean. Good job it was a three dice. G J I M M G J I M M G. <laughs> Glorious! Thank you very, very much. Ten out eighty nine. Ten months. Thanks for staying fantastic. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to let leave his guards mobile, but then also don't want to tie up all my ogres. Should I foul this skink? Maybe. But it would let him... It would let him, uh... Do something. I think I just blow. Failing to activate him would suck, so I'm not going to activate him. If I foul him, it's it's a one for one trade, maybe even a two for one trade against me if he gets sent off with a gym foul. But it might be worth it, might it? Could move in the Noblar hit squad. Two assist foul. Is that worth giving up a blitz on a snotling? Probably not. To be honest.
third lizard, 16th overall. Thank you very much. Bye, kids. <laughs> oh, rotten blood, yeah. Never kill all the skills like that, that's true. I probably should farm more, yeah, with the ogres. But it's just hard because you need... I mean, the, this time I didn't need to control the field. But I would be exposing snotlings to a tackle mighty blow blitz, so he would remove one. It was a guaranteed remove player to maybe remove one of his. So I think it is I think it's actually hard to engineer fouls. If you if you care about the result. If you care about the board, it's hard to engineer fouls, isn't it? Wee Ah, oh, you bastard! He fucking got his loner. Ugh. At least it didn't knock him over, I guess. I'll knock him ogre. <laughs> hmm, it was a two assist foul, though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm only one now. Like, I know, I know, uh, I know that fucking Noblar's a shit. But I'd still rather have men on the pitch to like, you know, with tackle zones and stuff than not have them on the pitch. Oh, look at this one dies pal. Fuckhead. One dice power gets with two dice block as well. Fucking outrageous. <laughs> Thanks, Patrons. Oh man, that fucking one dice. That was really crucial, wasn't it? Absolutely crucial one dice. Though. He does expose a skin throw for it. I get a three dice. Two skinks this turn. Potentially. Ooh, another three dice. That's just going to be a two, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to cancel that. Assist. Right. No, oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, bonehead. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Splat. <laughs> right. Try and move the cage over here. Glorious. Jim Shard, Jim Fowl, let's go, lads, lads, boys, boys, cunt. Lads, <laughs> lads, boys, boys, cunt. <laughs> Thanks very much, Last Frogman. Thanks for uh, thanks for being, thanks for staying fantastic, super mega ultra VIP. Thank you very much. Glorious indeed. Oh look, it's my sugar daddy, the Last Frogman. Right, this is fucking weird, isn't it? This game now. <laughs> yeah, the cunt was amazing. <laughs> right, three days. Maybe I could have fouled him afterwards, actually. By following, he actually protects the skinks, doesn't he? 
which is good. Might be able to foul him next turn with Ogres out. I really don't want a fucking bonehead here. This would be a horrible, horrible, horrible bonehead. So I guess I don't make the block. Even though he's just got to get a guard in here to two dice him down. So maybe I just go for it. Obviously, you've got to go for this. Because <laughs> it's a mighty blow block on an armor seven stun me. <laughs> just kill the skinks! <laughs> just kill the skinks. For all his skinks that are out, though, he's still got the ultimate skink left. Um, but he's only got two. He's only got him and another one. And he can get foul next turn. I think maybe I should make this block. But it's just. Because it's just so easy for him to get him in. The two dice him down. And then. I can do but. If I bonehead, yeah, boneheads is just the same as getting two dice, doesn't it? Boom. Oh my god, what a great block! <laughs> oh my god. Fucking ogres. <laughs> Fucking ogres, man! <laughs> oh, holy shit. What a fucking turn that was. What a fucking turn that was! Holy shit! Oh, you know, I really like that die. I really like that die emote. Fucking hell. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Listen to screams echo around the stadium. Yeah, foul that stun. Yeah, yeah. Foul that stun skink next turn. Yeah, obviously that's that's got to in it because then he's only down to one skink. Oh wow, he boneheaded. <laughs> Feels bad having bonehead shit players, doesn't it? <laughs> now, now he's lost so many lizards. It's kind of hard for him to get a two dice with lizards, isn't it? GFI to base the ball. Classic. <laughs> oh my god. So much fun. Alright. Um... Oh my, I might be able to... I can three dice him. What? One, two, three, four. Just two dice him. Yeah, three dice him. Okay, that's exciting. Right. He wants to go here, doesn't he? And... He wants to get in there. I like to base him, but if I don't base the Crocs, it's, the Crocs is more dangerous, isn't he? Got a three dice him. Shame it wasn't Tony. But I had to try to kill the skinks. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even a gym foul. 
<laughs> Wasn't even a gym foul. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> God, got the numbers now. Fucking hell. <laughs> Before it ends, give him a trial because it's quite easy. <laughs> Okay, now. <laughs> Do you like the Jim Fowling up, by the way? I was pretty happy with it, because it's like a little goblin hand. And it's also got two fingers, which is uh, which is good, isn't it? Because it's like, it's like it's like the double one. Obviously, it's not given the two fingers, but still. What a fucking match. Yeah, it's, just, it's hard because of, yeah, that's the thing. It is hard with the, the, uh, the level of detail, isn't it? It's tough. I mean, nearly didn't, nearly didn't splat him. It doesn't break armor, I think that's a good side step. Breaks armor. Ooh, or does he? That's really tricksy just to stop him basing the ball. Nah, I'm, I'm just trying to surf him. If he bases the ball, I'll just try and surf him. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's a chance of a of a foul here now, isn't there? You can't do anything here. So Ogre in there would be better, wouldn't it? Then where does my blitz go? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Dodge there, so it'd be one. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And he goes in there. Oh, but then I can't, I can't, I can't risk the ogre going. I've got to do it now. What for all one? I can't do it. Can do a blitz or something to try and save it. If he bone heads. Yeah. One dice. One, two, three. Right, so he blocks him. And then he blitzes.
<laughs> get fucked. <laughs> It's what you get for basing the ball. <laughs> oh shit. I did want to free the tackle and put him in this kink. I did want that. But um I also wanted to make it a two dice for the surf, didn't I? <laughs> die, die, die! <laughs> oh my god. The only bad thing is it makes the touchdown pretty tight and he can fucking 1D the ball now. But apart from that, I mean, I've got. I don't want to have to score the. Yeah, he's just going to 1D the ball. But then I guess it is a 5 plus to. To make the dauntless. Three dice, my pick. Oh god, <laughs> nearly got us. Nearly got us. Fucking hell. Yeah, it was incredibly risky, but I had I had to get three dice, two dice on the on the surf, didn't I? I didn't want to have to use my reroll because the ogre's carrying. So I don't have to risk the uh, risk the bonehead. You know, I want to use my reroll for the, if he boneheads on the last turn. Last turn, turn thanks. to GFI to hit with block. That's annoying. Getting a guard in there seems like a good idea. Falling, didn't I? But now that that is, uh, I think he did a bad side step there as well. Just quietly. But I didn't want. I didn't want to move the guys in to protect the ogre. I guess I should put the diamond tackle on him, shouldn't I? Obviously, obviously these guys aren't activating now. Yeah, I should have put Diamond Tackle on him, yeah. Yeah, I should have done. Yeah, absolutely should have done. Terrible, terrible play. Terrible play not putting Diamond Tackle on him. Terrible play. Oh, fuck off, man. There's no need to be that lucky, though, is there? Fuck's sake. But now the diamond tackle's on him, see? I knew. I knew. Oh, there was no need to be that lucky. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I should have put... But I should have put the diamond tackle on him. Yeah, there was no excuse for not putting diamond tackle on him. That was really bad. Really fucking bad. As soon as I did it as well, I was like, oh, I should have put diamond tackle on him. I didn't, kind of didn't think I could reach. 
But I thought this way, even if he makes the Dauntless, it's an uphill. But e even then, he just didn't affect that, did he? Wow, he did the two one dice powers to free him. <sighs> Fuck's sake. And with his fucking sidestep, it can't, it's going to be hard to chain blocks and that, isn't it? Fuck off, man. He's, he's, he's rolled two red dice. Got two red dice, Pat. He's, he's rolled a red dice block, double pals. Two one dice blocks, both pals. And then another red dice block, both pals. Fuck off. Hmm. <laughs> Straight into a bone. After catching the sky, oh fuck off, man! Make one mistake, lose the game because of it. Four, five. I can't risk the fucking bone head there, can I? <sighs> fucking dumb is that? Yeah, maybe not Brahmeister, maybe not, yeah, good point. Good point. Maybe not. It wasn't that cute, was it? It was fucking two dice block, you know, push, two dice block, and push, I think it was that cute. Well, I'm, I think, in retrospect, I should have appoed it so he couldn't have based the ball. I think I should have appoed the KO so he couldn't base the ball, then I would have fouled the skin. So I, I did think that was the best play at the time anyway. But I think it was the diving tackle was the loss. But then he might have rolled a 5 plus anyway. You can't legislate for someone being this fucking lucky, to be fair. But the diving tackle was a mistake that was just a clear mistake, wasn't it? Yeah, him catching the ball for the blitz was absurd. He rolled a 5 plus. Well, fair enough, Carlo. Okay, then, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that's how he got his record. Yeah, yeah the serve, the, the foul, the serve over the foul. I think I should have appled the, the KO. I really do believe that. But I didn't want to then, you know, get somebody killed later on. But I shouldn't have thought about that, should I? Right, 50 50, we even be able to fucking hit him.
No, yeah, I remember to throw a teammate. Yeah. Yeah, he could have thrown a teammate at first. Yeah. Yeah. I should I should have fouled him. Yeah, I shouldn't. I should have I should have appalled that 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 fucking move that he made. I should have appalled that, so he couldn't have based the ball. But I just thought I'll just surf him anyway, you know, because it was a two dice into two dice to surf him. But it did take the whole thing, and I could have had a four assist foul on the only guy who could stop us. That's why killing the skinks isn't such a good strategy because they only need one. Yeah, the six plus catch, in double double reds. Into double reds, into one dice, you know, like red pals into red pals into one die, two one dice pals. After the six plus catch, after fucking eight dice on him not doing anything. It was really unlucky, but it was yeah. Maybe I should have fouled the skink. Maybe I should have appled that, appled the KO, and then fouled the skink. So. So yeah, I can say it's my fault, can't I? Should have, should have apple apple the nobbler. Yeah, maybe I could have done though, crazy Lima. Maybe I could have done. Maybe I could have done. You know, if I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Maybe he's break tackle then on Tony, seeing as he only got a normal. Being able to break tackle somewhere with tackle is good, isn't it? Even though they don't break tackle hardly ever. I think he deserved to lose, though. I think he deserved to lose. Don't get me wrong. But in retrospect, I, I thought at the time I should up all this so he can't base the ball. I'll sack. I think I'll sack somebody now. Sack a dive and tackle because there's, there's too much TV. Maybe sat two diamond tackles, to be honest. And yeah, break tackle for Tony. Yeah. Oh, that was really annoying. I mean, you could say that I got lucky with all the cards that I'd made. But then he was basing with skinks, wasn't he? So... No, oh, yeah, pile on. No, I think break tackle is good. Ah, oh, yes, I should have found. See, I've already fucking... I've tilted off the face of the planet already. Yeah, I, I was really unlucky, wasn't it? That was really, 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 really unlucky. Um, Against the third top lizard man team. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.